All right, good morning. Welcome to Doing Business Statistics 4.1. What we're going to do here is work on our measures of stones. We're going to look at measures of location. We're going to work on the mean, the median, and we're going to work on the mode. Okay, real nice and easy. Let's get this done. The mean is the average, right? So we're going to do that. Let's t pick up a couple of numbers, 2, 3, 7, 7, and 5. If I add these up together, the mean is going to be nothing more than the, uh, let me do a different color, the summation of x sub i divided by the total number of observations. 2 plus 3 is 5. I'm just adding up all the x sub i's. 5 and 7 is 12. 12 and 7 is 19. 19 and 5 is 24. So 24 goes on top, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is my total number on the bottom. So that's going to give me 24 divided by 5, or 4.8. Yes, 4.8, almost 5. All right, so that's the average. We all know how to do those. That shouldn't be a big surprise. You should be able to do those at any time. Um, let's do that again. Two, three, seven, seven, five. And now let's work on the median. The median is different from the average in that the average is grouping all the numbers together, or adding them all together, and then trying to get something in the middle by dividing equally amongst them all. We're not going to talk about weighted averages right now. Just just averages. And the median, however, is the number that's actually in the middle. So in order to do this, we have to rewrite our sort our our list of numbers to do what's called a sorted array. Two, three, five, seven, seven, such that all the numbers are in an appropriate numerical order. When we do that, we can really quickly go in and just grab the one in the middle, which in this case is going to be the number five. We can do that by crossing out the top and the bottom, the top and the bottom, and then you get the number five. That is the median. It's as simple as that. What you don't know, maybe, is that the median is also the 50th percentile. We'll talk about percentiles in a minute, but if you ask, if somebody asks you for the median percentile uh, or the 50th percentile, it is also known as the median. Just a little FYI for future. Let's write those numbers down again. Two, three, seven, seven, five. Now let's talk about the mode. What is the mode? The mode is the number that surfaces most often. In this case, that's very obvious, the seven and this shows up more than once. So we say that the mode is equal to seven. Now, if you get in a situation where you have, say, more than one mode, right, these two are a pair and these two are a pair, then this could be called multimodal. And the answer would be five and seven. You might see this as bimodal, which means there are two answers. But that's not the same as multimodal. Multimodal could be the 5, the 7, the 9, the 8, whatever, a whole bunch of other ones. So we don't really focus. We try not to say bimodal or trimodal or whatever. We say multimodal. If you're in, however, you might get into a case where you have no mode, right? You have something like this, 2, 3, 7, and 5. It's very easy. It's very appropriate to say that there is no mode a moto all right so that's it for five one make sure you are able to calculate mean median and mode